Hey guys, so I know a lot of you are going to be really excited about today's video. I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair. Now I did do a video like this almost two years ago now and I've been getting a lot of requests to do an updated one since my hair is a little bit different now and it's something that I never even noticed that I changed but I think my hair is cut a little bit differently or I'm just doing the front different than I was before but either way I'm doing an updated one on how to get this hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All you're going to need is a curling iron. You can use any one that you want. I used to use Conair before I got this one. I got this almost two years ago when I did the last video. This is the Babyless Pro Ceramic Tourmaline something or other. I don't know. I'll put the name in the info box below for you. But you can use any curling iron that you have. You don't have to go out and buy a special one just to do this. Also going to be using some hairspray. This is the Bedhead Masterpiece hairspray and this is my favorite one right now mostly because it smells good you guys know how picky I am about hairsprays and stuff like that this is my favorite one so far and I think the hold is pretty good and it doesn't get too crunchy or anything unless you just put a massive amount in there and also you're going to need a little hair clip to just kind of section the top part off so without further ado let's just get started now I do like my hair both ways and I normally wear it straight but for this video I'm gonna be showing you how I go from this to this so I hope you enjoy Alright, so to get started, this is my hair in its most natural state. I just got up, did my makeup, and threw on a shirt. And this is how my hair is. If you've watched my hair care routine video and all the things that I do for my hair, you'll know that I don't brush my hair throughout the day. I only brush it before and after my shower. I don't like to brush it when I get up because most of the time I don't really need to. My hair doesn't really get tangly or anything like that. And also, I feel like when I brush my hair, I lose a lot of volume. And as you can see, my hair doesn't really have a ton of volume as it is. It's a little bit on the flatter side and my hair is not thick it's um, normal to thin range I would say so I don't like to lose any additional volume that I may have just start off what I'm gonna do is just section off the top part of my hair and sorry there's gonna be a lot of looking in the viewfinder for this video because I don't have a mirror here but um, I'm not really too precise with it I just want the top layers to be kind of tucked away and then I just divide my hair in half There you go. I can't really sit that much further back without my camera getting out of focus, so um, I don't have a camcorder or anything. It's a DSLR. When you have a DSLR and you have to get these different lenses to put on there, the lens that I have that came with the kit that I bought, um, it has like a certain length. Like you can focus in and out, but it only goes out to a certain point, so I'm out as far as I can go. Anyway, not that you guys care about cameras, but I'm just explaining to you guys why you can't really see everything that's going on. So I'm just going to take my curling iron, and I have it set to the highest heat setting. I always try and get a curling iron that has multiple heat settings. I did do a video about this previously, like almost two years ago now, that I'll link in the info box for you below that kind of goes into more detail on what I look for when I buy a curling iron. Um, I've had this one since I've done that video, so same one I've been using. And then I just start off by grabbing a piece of my hair and curling it up. Now I'm just going to continue to curl the rest of my hair and I don't really have a set way of how I curl my hair for the bottom half as far as whether I turn it inwards or outwards towards my face. I kind of just go with whatever feels more comfortable. So another thing that I'll do if I'm going to be having to have my hair be decent for a few hours or if I'm filming, I will take a little bit of hairspray and I really like the Bedhead Masterpiece hairspray mostly just because it smells good you guys know I'm very particular about hairspray and then I'll just kind of spritz the bottom and scrunch that up a little bit so that's it for that and now let's just do the other side another thing you may notice is that when I curl my hair I actually leave out about a half an inch or so at the bottom of my hair and that's because I don't like to apply heat directly on the ends I feel like it just keeps my hair a little bit healthier and at the end of the day since these are not tight curls it's more of a relaxed wavy curl you really don't notice a difference on whether you curl the ends or not so I usually just leave them out so now I'd say I'm pretty much done with curling the whole bottom section of my hair. Like I mentioned before, there really isn't an exact method to it. I kind of just go with the flow and whatever way I feel like doing it or whatever's more comfortable for me. A lot of times when I'm doing the whole bottom section of my hair, I'm not really paying all that much attention to it. I'm just kind of thinking about what I need to do for the day and just stuff like that. So it's not really a big deal and it's nothing that you need to 
freak out over or anything like that. One thing I will mention as a little tip if you're interested, if your hair is a little bit flatter that day or in general if you're looking for a little bit more volume, since I parted it up top right here, I like to curl the ones over here a little bit tighter sometimes, so sometimes I'll just go back in and kind of curl that section. That way this part right here will kind of fluff up the top curl. So the top curls are going to lay on top of it and I'll just kind of have a fluffier, springier section of hair to sit on top of instead of having it be just so flat right there and then just all these curls at the bottom. So there's that. And now I'm just going to let down the top part of my hair, which is the important part. And then you can part it whichever way you want. I have to check in the mirror again, sorry. I guess that's okay. And now you're just going to curl this section. So the back pieces, I just like to curl regularly, just like I curl the rest of my hair. Alright, so sorry for this kind of quiet section right here, but I did want to keep some portions of this video more real time. That way you could see just how long I'm keeping each piece of hair in the curling iron. Of course, it may vary for you depending on how your hair takes to heat, and that's something that you'll just learn through trial and error. So I'm just continuing to curl those. Now, I do like to let the top curl sit in the curling iron a little bit longer and let the curls get a little bit hotter. I don't know, I like more defined curls on top, I guess. These are things that I normally wouldn't really notice, but since I'm talking about it, I kind of notice it. And for the top layers, I do like to curl them away from my face. I'm sure I'm going to say this a million times in this video, but I really don't have an exact science on how I do my hair. A lot of people ask me or they'll be like, oh, I like your hair today. How did, did you do it differently? It looks different. And I honestly don't even know. It, my hair comes out differently every single time. So I'm hoping today it will come out okay. Alright, so now we are down to the two most important sections. So I have these front pieces right here. And a lot of times what I like to do is just kind of split them in half. I split it, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I like to split in half where I have a bottom layer and a top layer. So I usually, I curl them the same way, but for some reason when I split it, I think it just comes out better or just a fuller curl. So I'm just going to do that one and then do this one. And then when I release that one, I just finger through the front curls to kind of blend those two together. And overall, it gives it that shape and it keeps it out of my face, which is my whole reason for curling my hair for videos. And then you can just kind of play around with it. I also don't normally wear earrings when I'm doing my hair, but I don't know, I thought it would look silly to put them in afterwards, but it just looks silly because they're going all over the place. And then I just kind of spritz the front. Do a little ah, we'll do a little spritz over there too and that's really it that's how I do my hair so let me see how it looks you can't tell from the viewfinder it's a little big right there and really a lot of it's just kind of playing around with your hair and getting all the curls to go the way that you want them to go we'll do one more spritz for luck over here and hopes that this video comes out okay So that's really it. That's how I do my hair every time I curl it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was still helpful for you even though I didn't have the way I do my hair pinpointed down to a science. I'm really laid back with a lot of the stuff that I do and it's kind of just, you know, if it comes out good, then great. If it doesn't, We'll, we'll try something else. So I'm not really that particular about it, but hopefully by watching and seeing how I do it, you pick up some tips and tricks along the way. I know that everyone's hair is different and it's not going to work the exact same on everyone's hair. You really need to find what products work for you as far as hot tools and hairspray and just methods of doing it. But this is how I do my hair and I get a lot of requests for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later. Well, since I'm not used to doing hair tutorials, you know there had to be some bloopers. But this part is pretty self-explanatory, just curl your hair at the bottom. That's not really where any of the skill or secret comes in.
Do I have everything here? I can't tell. What's this piece? I really should have brought a mirror out here. Whoa. Do a little splash. They're always out on their porch. Now I feel like the nosy neighbor because I'm trying to see what they're doing. But they're making a lot of noise. I hope this video comes out okay. Otherwise, what a waste.